Kay Jr. went past an office where someone used a crowbar to destroy everything inside. It was a tremendous crash as the man threw his chair through the hermetically sealed window then started hurling the contents of the office outside. He flipped the desk over a couple of times, got it up on one end, then dropped it out the window. That's better, he said. Now I finally have some room to work in. Kay Jr.'s associate Christian was in one of the offices clutching a seat cushion to his chest. We've been reassigned, Christian said. His walls were lined with autographed pictures, declaring Christian a best friend. The glass front shattered. A few jagged pieces of glass stayed in the frame, the rest fallen. Two large banana plants stood in the corners, the leaves stripped from the trunk, creating two whip-thin green rods pointing toward the ceiling. His desk was empty, but the floor was covered with papers, <clears throat> as if giant hands had collected them in a bundle from the top of the desk and thrown them into the air to settle where they might. Reassigned. To what, said Kay Jr. It's worse than I thought. Slaughter doesn't even describe it. Everyone from VP and above has been let go. That's one of the rumors. Is it true? All rumors are true. The bank may intercede. Federal troops may be called in. Do you really know anything? We, find, we need to find out who to report to and what we're supposed to do. The phones are down. All lines of communication in and out have been severed. Christian, that's another rumor. And the memo, K. Jr. said, yes, all of it reassigned, said Christian. Do you know what we're supposed to do? Christian shook his head. I know you didn't have any part of this. Columns five and six were not mentioned in the report. What do you think that means? What did McPersky say, K. Jr. said? Who is McPersky? What do you mean, who is McPersky? What did he say? Christian rocked in his chair. We're to wait for instructions. Your office is down the hall. It's in bad shape. Steal yourself. Yes, but what did McPersky say? There is no McPersky, Christian said. Now we wait. There has to be some recourse here, said K. Jr. Where are all my things? They can't just move us like this. Where are we? We have to make a formal protest. No protest, Christian said. Protests are a mistake. Mistakes cannot be abided. Haven't you learned anything by now? Christian, I'm not going to accept this kind of treatment after what the whole city has been through. It's cruel, horribly cruel to subject anyone to this kind of additional stress. We shouldn't have been working. I intend to protest. No, said Christian. No, no, don't do it. Please, I could be affected by this. I won't bring up your name, Kay Jr. said. Besides, it has nothing to do with you specifically. I'm the one who will be protesting. I could be affected, Christian said. Those of us who are left don't do it. We have to pull together. He suddenly leaned over and began picking up papers, putting them on the desk. Some of them fell on top of the pile back to the floor. We'll work on the report. They'll understand. Kay Jr. left Christian rocking in his chair, sorting papers still claiming they would understand. They'll understand, but they didn't. Thanks.